Welcome dancers, my name is Sarah and I teach on the adult ballet programme at English National Ballet. I teach the absolute beginners and the improvers class. So the bar I'm doing today is pitched somewhere between the middle. If you are an absolute beginner, I'm delighted that you're joining us today. And if you like what you do, then of course you can come and join us, EMB, Canning Town, and do the absolute beginners classes. If you are more advanced, then of course you'll be able to adapt the exercises to challenge you a little bit further. We're just going to get warmed up to raise our heart rates a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to mark it, we'll just do it together. It's mainly marches and little steps jump together. Round you go. feel a little bit out of breath. The next part of the warm-up, I just want to think about really stretching out different parts of our bodies. Not overstretching, not crunching, but just taking the time to really think about what's happening in the body. Try and bring your mind as well focused to your body. Okay, again I'm not going to mark it, we'll just do it through together. So we start by rolling down through the spine. And bend the knees, only go as far as is comfortable, and again. And then to roll up. If you're sitting down, a big stretch. And you roll the shoulder and with the elbow. Bend the knees all the way round. Okay. And just twisting, keep the hips nice and square. Other side. And stretch over to the side. And take your time to really roll very carefully through your spine. So stretch out our calf muscles. The side. I'm just going to give the quads a little stretch out. Put the knees together, push those hips forward. Plie. Let's think about having good ballet posture so that we can gain strength in all of our movements. I'm going to stand sideways so you can see. So to begin with I want to engage all of the muscles in my legs so I'm really pulling up. 
I'm going to stick my bottom out slightly so that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to zip up my tummy muscles and at the same time I'm going to draw down my pelvis. So you can see I've really lengthened the tailbone, lengthened the spine. Sometimes our ribs might poke out so we want to safety pin the ribs together. Check that the weight is on the front of our feet and then give yourself a pull up so you're really tall, lifting out of the waist, making space in between the vertebrae. And of course, you're going to try and keep this posture throughout the class. OK, we're ready to mark our plie exercise. So I'll place my bar here. So plies are very important, of course, because they are uh, the landing, the cushions from our jumps and also where we push off into our jumps. So as we're taking the plie, we want to make certain we're keeping a nice straight back pushing the knees back over the little toes. Don't try and go deeper than it is um, possible for you because then you'll displace the back and we want to make certain that we land nice and straight. So when you go as far as is possible for you. Little breathe on the introduction and we have a squeeze down, push up, arm to first and up to fifth. Now as you go down, push the knees over the little toes and get your heels down as soon as you are able. We roll gently down through the spine and again gently up, push the floor away, resist to lower, foot through the floor to second. Repeat the same pattern in second and then arm to fifth and your full plie. Don't lift the heels in second, just as deep as you can. Sideways pull the bra, so lift first, pushing the weight down into two feet. Lift to go to the side. Back you come, strong lies, lower, and then taking the leg round to the full. We have a squeeze down, push up arm to first and to fifth. Now I've retired from Grand Plié in fourth but of course if that's what you wish to do go ahead and do it. I'm just going to take a slow fourth position keeping my knees pushing back. This time we go away from the bar again gently gently through the spine, rise, resist to lower, close the foot into third or fifth, lift as you close so the knees don't bend and then we go last time squeeze down squeeze up arm to the first and fifth then your full plie heels down this time we're going to take a upper back bend so i'll just show you sideways we're going to bend not from the waist but from the shoulder blade so again you lift up it's like you're lying back on a pillow. Make certain the shoulders are both pointing forward and let the audience see your lovely face. And then we rise, lower, come back to first and on the end hold your balance, open to second and squeeze the inside of the thighs together to lower. Right then, let's do it.
Okay, just to turn down my heating. I'm very hot, and then we will do it on the other side. Okay, how was that? I'm sure it was lovely. Let's move on then to our Batmon Tonju. So for the Tonju exercise today, we're going to go from first, and I really want us to think about maintaining the turnout. Prepare the arm through the first second. So we're going to take a bend, now we're going to slide the foot out, so you're thinking about pushing the heel forwards, and then the little toe is going to lead you back, and you um, come up. And then two tonjus. so really try and use the foot through the floor, same thing, heel forward, little toe back and we go to the side now we're not transferring the weight keeping the weight on the inside leg slide out again keep that thigh pushing forwards to tondu to the side repeat derriere so bend push the thigh back heel leads you back stretch and two tondu and on the end we're going to take a tondu devant Bring the body in slightly, derriere, and to reward all of your hard work, you get a little full de bras before you come from back behind, and we bend, slide out, heel forward, come up, check your hips are square, both hips pointing forward, bend, out, in, squeeze and your two, tonju to the side, to the front and squeeze, up, down, lower back and a stretch, two, more, tonju, there we go, to the back and to the front, this time we're going to reverse, up and down and then we can just Finish there. Mm, yes, you might find your arm starts there. Just watch the arms at the side. Very easy when you're concentrating to let the arm just droop. But try and think arms round the giant tree trunk held across the back. Okay. Thank you. 
on the other side. Keep nice and lifted. Okay, jolly good. Uh, let's move on then to our rond de jambe. So all about the circling of the leg in the hips. So you need to be very lifted for this, both upwards and lengthening through the leg. I might do my start of my rond de jambe to the front of the side and think, yeah, that's pretty good. However, let me just test that theory out. So to the front, to the side, can I lift any more up this way? Can I lengthen any more out that way? Let's try. So yes, there's more lift. Yes, there's more lengthening. So just try and keep everything as stretched as you can. We prepare the arm through the first, two second. So we're gonna take the leg to the front, round to your second. So remember, everybody has their own second, depending on turnout. When you saw the lovely Tamara dance, you will see that she has lots of lovely turnout. Yes, sadly I'm not blessed with much turnout. So when I take my leg to the side, you will see it's nowhere near to the side, it's more to the diagonal. So what I have to be careful when I find my second is that both my hips are pointing forward. Think about um, having lights, parallel lights, shooting this way. If I try and take my leg too far behind, either I twist my hips or my leg will turn in. So I have to find my second. I can keep improving my turnout. I keep working the turnout very hard, but I have to work within my second. Okay, so we go to the front and to the side, to the front and close. Now a slow rond de jambe, so you can really think about lengthening the leg. One, all the way round, making the largest capital D shape that you can, and then we take a pour de bras towards the bar, then we go to the back. Now find your second, make certain you don't leave the leg behind, derriere, and close, and on de don. We take a one all the way around, don't forget to show the heel, and then another pour de bras. Okay, let's do that one together. Now, did you see that? Did you see that little shake of the bar? Why was that? Yes, absolutely. So I was pulling too much on my bar. I wasn't supporting my own weight. Remember that the bar, everything you do at the bar can be transferred into the centre. So really, fingers ever so lightly on the bar. It's a good idea every now and again just to lift your hand off to check that your weight is in the right place. Okay, let's do the other side. Ooh. 
Let's turn this round first of all. Well done. Okay, so we're moving on now to our Batman fondue. So this exercise, a couple of things. We're thinking about landing and pushing off uh, jumps using one leg. Uh, also, I think this peel off at the beginning is really important because you can start to practice for your pirouette when you need to draw that line up the front of the leg straight away. Now here is a really easy place to sickle, yes, and by that I mean having a banana foot. You need to keep your heel pushing forward and your little toe pushing back. I sickle with this leg so you can watch, can't you, very carefully and see if I'm sickling my foot. So the exercise, we have a beautiful peel off, extend, and then coup de pied up to the Retire, find your balance, toes at the front, and then to the side, toes, coup de pied, and then up to the retire, am I sticking my foot a little bit, and close at the back, peel off, and lift the thigh, and then pull up, now bring the leg up, you don't have to bring it right behind the knee if you don't wish, you can have it a little bit lower, think about your pose turns a bit later on, and close, and then we're just sliding the leg out to the side and the front and the side. Now we go in reverse, so we peel off, extend. Oh, I wobbled my bar again up at the back. Make sure so that, that knee is pushing right back and close, and then peel off to the side and up again at the back. And close at the front. Peel off and extend. And then good PA right up underneath the knee if you can. Don't worry if it's lower, not a problem, just keep it pushing back. And then we slide out the leg to the side. And we are finished. Oh yes, we must have a shake out, wasn't we, and a stretch. I meant to let you do that after the Ronde de Jean. And then I forgot, because it's a bit tough on the legs, isn't it? Okay, let's do that together. Okay, well done, have a good shake out of the legs and a 
a stretch. I have to, oh, my hair's in my eyes. I need a haircut, but that's not going to happen for a while, is it? Okay, let's move on to the sun. I'm just going to have a sip of water. Thank you. And then we'll do on the other side. Shake out my arms a bit achy. That's wrong. So something I was aware of then that I just thought I'd share with you is that I'm uneven in my turnout. So one leg will go much further back. Yes, that's the one than the other. But this one won't go as far back. So it's much easier for me to balance on this side than it is on this side. So just to say at this point that we're all working within our own. Um, capacity. So you will notice very soon that when I uh, lift my legs in the air, they don't go very high. They're quite low. But that doesn't matter because lots of the beauty in ballet is to do with the line. And that means you can keep things on the floor. Also, the wonderful thing about ballet is it makes you feel so stretched, um, so pulled up, so proud. It's all about saying, look at me, here I am. And especially if you haven't got an audience, maybe you have, maybe you've got the cat, um, the children, whatever, is that you can really think about being very proud of yourself um, and not have to worry about what other people are thinking. Dance as if no one is watching. Okay, now we are going to move into our Batman Frappe exercise. So Batman Frappe means to strike. And if you watch Tamara, uh, a few days ago, she used a brilliant analogy that I'm going to use from now on in my teaching about striking a match because it's exactly that, isn't it? Also, you would have noticed that Tamara's Batman Frappe are really, really quick, so we need to build up to that. And we're going to look at the mechanics of a double uh, Batman Frappe today. So we'll prepare the foot, flex foot, and we strike the floor, bring the knee back, and then we're going to do our back front preparation for our double back front out and in. We go to the side, side at the back, front and a back, front back, side and in, derriere, derriere, front and a back, front back, out and in, change the foot and then we do petty back one. So this is preparation for your beats, your beated jumps. So we keep the thigh nice and still and we just find that pendulum movement. And then we go from the back. Frappe in, and a front and back. Front back, out and in. Frappe side, back and front. Back front strike and in. To the front knee back. Back and front. Back front strike and in. Change the foot and then your petit back on on the end. And we finish. Yes, yeah, so the position is coup de pied, which means neck of the foot. So it's toes above the ankle joint at the front. At the back, it's um, heel above the ankle joint. There are different ways of doing back one frappe. You can do it with the stretched leg. And the same as petit back one. Uh, you can do it with the foot wrapped around. You can do it with the foot um, on the floor. It depends on which school of ballet 
uh, you are using. Right, let's do that one frappe then. a little bit of a shake and a stretch. I find I get particularly tight uh, in my hamstrings when I dance. Okay, on to the other side. Good shake. How are you doing? Yeah. Right, a sip of water. So we have uh, the adage and Grand Batman left at the bar, and then we're just going to do a little reverence to finish. So you're doing really well. Keep going. Of course, you can always stop um, the video and come back to it later. Excuse me. Okay, so our adage. So again, with our adage, we want to think about really lengthening. It's a beautiful thing, and as I said earlier, don't worry about the height, yes? What will make it lovely is if you really point your feet on the end. That's what the audience really wants to see, that and your face being engaged. So we are going to chasse on avant. So sliding out and then transferring the weight back without sticking our bottoms out. Then we devil the page of our five, Six, gently lower, seven, eight. We take our devil pay to the side. Do I have enough room? One, two, three, four. Now I'm just going to, you can either just lengthen to the arabesque, that beautiful line there. If you want to slightly lift the leg, you can. If you want to do a little back bend, you can. You choose what you prefer. And then we go in reverse. So we chasse on arriere and then we transfer the weight forward and we do our développé, derriere, our développé, à la seconde, and then at the front the same thing, you can either lift the leg if you want to, a little upper back bend. Then we're going to do a circular pour de bras, so all the way round, eight to go round, looking all around, making a, a larger circle that you can, round somebody you love, and then back the other way to finish. I think I'm just going to move a little bit further forward and a little bit to the side. Okay.
Okay, you can stretch out if you need to before you go on the other side. So just something I should have said before we started this about the leg narrowness. We, we really want to protect our lower spine so we can make certain that we're dancing for years and years and years. So what I think about when I'm lifting my leg at the back is rather than thinking about creasing here to lift, I think about creasing here at the top of the leg. And it just allows me to take the strain um, off the back. Okay, so we just have one back one left at the bar. We worked really hard. Well done. So grand back on, using the foot through the floor, throw and then resist to lower. So we're going to start with the tonjo. I like to lift the arm, it makes me feel more lifted. Tonjo and the close and then you throw to the side. Now you close in at the front, uh, derriere. And tonjo and the close and a throw. We do a little retire at the back. Well, not really little. What I want to get with that is that uh, up behind the knee as quickly as possible in preparation for when you do pose a turns. And then we go in reverse. Can I come forwards? Yes. Tond you and close and throw the leg and two close at the back and throw the leg and then double throw the leg up you go. And you can balance on the end. So, of course, that's in preparation for our pirouette. Okay, let's do that all together. side. I'll have a little bit more room in so I'll be less worried about hitting something. Okay, last thing at the bar. done and a brilliant job. We're just going to take a pour de bras and a reverence to finish. Um, let me just mark that quickly for you. So we have first and second and fifth and fifth. We're going to twist to the arabesque and then change to the other side. First and second and fifth and fifth and repeat. Side 
and we're just going to take a little breathe arm to third arabesque we're going to thank our lovely pianist and then we're going to a little breathe first third arabesque and then thank your audience who will give you rapturous applause let's do that together enjoy this you can bow or curtsy. Thank you, I've really enjoyed dancing with you today. Don't forget to have some stretches and maybe I'll see you again. Bye!